I'm back home from vacation. I'm doing exactly what I didn't want to do. I have all this footage that I have to edit from my vacation. So my throat was absolutely burning and the last thing that I thought I would need was this, but come through applesauce. Do you ever get in those moods where you just want to snap like everything, you just get in a snapping mood and you can't even like do anything else because you're so distracted with Snapchat? So I'm out here in Draper and this is what I see. This is so bizarre, fog or mist or I don't even know what that is. Doing some breakfast for dinner type shit. You know what that sushi place are not messing around they have rules like you're supposed to eat all your rice you can't waste or they'll charge you extra it's serious i love it hi guys it's wednesday and i'm at work and there's like big stuff going on today. We have like this big presentation that we're going to. I am like legit such a loner. Like everybody was going their own ways and I was like, I wanna go outside. So now I'm like talking to my phone, people probably watching. So I have a few minutes left on break. There's a lot I could be doing right now. But I'm just sitting outside, I could be playing sports. Do you see these sports fields and stuff? Do you see it? This job is looking so different from anything I've ever done. Like normally at work, I'd be walking around wearing jeans, but like I'm sitting down, so it's not just how, like for the first time in my life, I'd be wearing dresses to work. It's kind of not like me, but I'm very much comfortable that way. I'm like this close to like being a hijabi basically. I'm wearing a dress with like yoga pants under and long sleeve shirt. Like, okay girl. So I think from today on, because tomorrow's my appointment to get gym access and I'm going to be so fit, so swollen. Yes, swollen. Get to okay, I feel like I'm telling a spooky little ghost story or something. I just barely got home from work and it, it's a mess. I'll tell you the story. Okay, y'all. So, I tried to go on the freeway to go home. As you can maybe hear, it is raining and I could not see on the freeway. So I got on the freeway and I just took it one stop because I'm not about that fatality car crash light because I could not see anything at all. But it seemed kind of close relatively by speeding, but I got closer to downtown and the power is out. Like basically the whole neighborhood is dark and I live downtown so it's like normally way light. I have not gone in my house yet because I kind of like don't want to go out in the rain. So moral of the story, I hate driving, but it's the only way that I can like conduct my life lately. I don't know how to deal with this kind of stuff. So if this is how bad it is and it's like tomorrow's fall, what am I going to do in the winter? Like literally, what am I going to do? So I'm going to leave it here with this little Snapchat rant, um, just so you guys know I'm alive and well. Ugh, scary stuff. Okay you guys, I just got out of that traffic jam, got off a stop early, but I'm out of there. Fuck that shit. So I gotta tell you guys a story right quick. I used to live by these redneck little white kids and their dog was named Bitch. It was pretty much like one of the most hilarious things I ever heard in my whole freaking life. Like, all these little white kids like, here bitch, here bitch. I'm like, what the hell? 
And you guys are probably like, what's with the random story time about a dog named Bitch? It's because like, my boyfriend is convinced that we're getting a dog. Right now, I look like every boy that goes to the University of Utah, you know? So the craziest stuff has just been going on today. We had like some kind of test in our training class. I thought I was gonna fail. Somehow, miraculously, I passed my test. I got 95. But the craziest thing happened, the power went out. So luckily, I finished it before this all happened. But I feel really bad for the people who didn't. 